Okay, the peregrine just flew back from chasing the eagle off the pole. That was another good flight. Just a calling and just a chasing it. Dive bombing and running a total of a block and a half away up into the tree. And dive bombing and then return to this perch again. So she sees the eagle run him out of the country, but this whole thing's all about her carcass. She's got a food. Out uh, here, probably a duck carcass. You can see her crop. She's been eating and having a good fill. But that eagle spotted the feathers and stuff trying to get in on that duck kill. And she's not having no part of that. So she's running him out of here. She's looking really good, too. She's sitting out here right in the middle of a rainstorm. Now it's coming down pretty good. I'll try to zoom in on her a little bit. Looks like she's done calling now. But she was right on there. There you go. Here's our wonderful peregrine. She's got that duck kill in that field right behind her. That's where she takes her bath and uh, that bald eagle spotted her kill and was only trying to get in on it. She wasn't going to have no part of that. She ran him off once then she flew up on top of the Boeing antennas and the eagle came back so she's back over here again. She's a good looking bird getting wet now. Maybe she'll take off now. We'll back off a little bit. There she is. Oh, yeah, she's keeping an eye on that eagle. She's it was a big old cottonwood tree the eagle went to, and she drove far enough away from her kill. Her kill's behind her. She don't want that eagle anywhere near there. So she's sitting up there looking really good now. Back off a little bit. There we are. There she is, getting a shower. So it looks like the excitement's over. She's run the interloper out of the area. So we'll call that good then. Let's see how much she's got that full crop. My goodness, she really stuffed herself. Okay, we'll call that good.